three, go. Hey guys, welcome to Mom's Kitchen. Well, today she wanted me to make Irish nachos. You know, it's my birthday weekend and celebrate my birthday, St. Patty's Day, a couple days after. We still got corned beef. So we made <laughs> Irish nachos. So what I did, I got a pan here, got some oil in it. I took the mandolin, took the potatoes, and made them real thin, like potato chips. Right. Fried them. But if you don't have a mandolin, you could do it with a knife and just do it really yeah. thin. You gotta cut it thin. Yeah, yeah. okay. I, just, but... I cheated, made it easier way. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so then I put down my, my chips... And then I put cheese, then I put onion, jalapeno, then I put the, all the meat, and then extra cheese, and then more cheese. Oh, wow. And then I baked it. That looks so good. But the key with the potatoes, though, is you have to make sure once you're done cutting them, you soak them in water. And then you right. have to pat them dry. You want to get that starch out. Okay. So then they taste better. Yeah. They're a little more crispier, not all soggy. Oh. So I, I did, the, did the potatoes, sure. soaked the potatoes, dried the potatoes. Then I fried them, and then I put them on a cookie sheet. All right. Some extra steps, but they taste better. They do. Like, let's let's find out. Yeah, let's, let's find out. Oh, oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. This one. Ah, mm. you just... So hot as shit. The hot <laughs> and crispy <laughs> and delicious. All right, that's enough. Hot, crispy, and delicious. Y'all heard it here. Irish nachos. Mm. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. I love you.